Hey guys and gals, A here. Welcome to another episode of EDCQ. So today I have another pocket dump as well as a new knife to me, new brand, but is it really a new brand? Want to know what in the world I'm talking about? Come on back because here we go. All right, guys and gals. So today we're going to kick off with a pocket dump and then I'll get into a piece of gear, a new knife I just got that I think is fairly fascinating. So I have the standard uh, Listerine breath strips in my pocket as well as uh, actually a second pack of Listerine breath strips. One of them is about out. Got some coins and a dice. One of my 20 sided dice. This one actually is kind of multicolored in there, which is pretty cool. So I have that hanging out in my front right pocket. And then um, I'm wearing some cargo shorts, and they actually have like a slip, like the cargo pocket is velcroed down, so you velcro it up and you can go into the pocket. But there's also a slip above where the pocket, where like the, um, the flap is. And it goes to a different part so you can actually actually put stuff inside the slip pocket and inside of the other pocket and they'll kind of layer with a with a piece of material in between them so it's actually kind of cool um, so on my right hand side it's slipped into the pocket I have my mini Bic with the uh, Gorilla Tape wrapped around still works and then also in that pocket I have my uh, Victorinox compact um, so in the next few weeks, pre-Blade Show, which now is just a few weeks away, um, I plan on switching the scales out on this. So if you want to see that, let me know, because it's going to happen here soon, and I plan on just doing it on my own. But if that's something you guys want to see on camera, let me know, and I'll actually film the process of removing and putting on new scales. And then actually Velcroed into the pocket is uh, Pixel Buds. Um, these are actually not the uh, A series, which is normally what you see me rocking. These are the pros. So they have uh, active noise cancellation. Um, and I use that when I am uh, cutting grass. I love doing the yard work around here. And so if I'm cutting grass, I'll activate the noise cancellation and I won't even be able to hear the lawnmower while I'm, while I'm cutting grass, I get like a faint hum of a lawnmower, which is pretty cool. The other thing it does is it has like a, uh, a transparency mode where you're not hearing what's going on around you. It's actually funneling it in through your system. So I can hear my podcast uh, while I can hear like conversations going on around me. It picks up uh, conversations and voices but it, dr it drones out like noises. Um, and so I'll, I'll activate that if I'm listening to something or watching something, but I still wanna hear my two year old or, or I'm out in public and I wanna know what's going on around me, I'll turn that on. So I can actually hear what I'm listening to while getting uh, actual like um, conversations going on pumped into my ears, but the noise is just kind of subtle. So really cool feature, still kind of playing around with it. Don't know how much transparency mode I will use, but I love the active noise cancellation when I'm out doing yard work. So uh, definitely more expensive, in my opinion, worth the upgrade, but we'll see how long that lasts. So on the left-hand side, the slip pocket on the cargo pocket is where I slip my phone, which I'm filming on. And then I forgot to mention, there's also uh, two kind of like knife pockets on either side. And so on my left side, I have my Olight i3T, uh, which I actually have a 10, a 10 440 in here. And so that is uh, a much brighter light than it would be with just the standard AAA. And then I have my Everyman pen in blue. Um, and so those are just clipped into the pocket right there, little knife pocket. And then uh, in my back left pocket, I actually don't have a hank today. Back right pocket has a little bit of change, no big deal. And then the knife that I'm carrying. Um, this might have been seen on camera before. I don't, well, recently. I think I've shown it recently. 
Um, I've had this knife for several months now and actually just started carrying it and love it. This is the Sincut knife. And like I said, I believe you've seen this on a pocket dump here recently, but I love the shape of this knife. Let's see if I can get that a little better for you. It just looks really cool, the shape and the design of it. And it has a deep carry pocket clip right there. And these uh, handles, um, you can kind of see how, like right here, you can kind of see the cutout of the, uh, of the um, skeletonized uh, handle in there, the metal running through there, which I think is pretty cool. It's a lot more noticeable in person than on camera. But this knife is awesome, really love it. I love flipping it open. I love using it. It has a really nice belly on it. Cool lines, excellent shape in my opinion. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. So here is how it came. It came in this lovely little knife uh, sheath. Uh, it is nice and fuzzy on the inside. Came with a microfiber cloth. But so excellent little setup for the knife here. You can actually travel with it like that throw this in your bag and your knife is protected and covered and uh, not going to get hurt. So excellent, um, excellent packaging. And I save these for that reason. I don't save all of them, but I definitely keep some of these on hand just for travel purposes. When I saw this, um, I was like, hang on, I've seen this before somewhere. And it took me a minute to rack my brain where, but it's this. This is the Civivi one. And it is the same style of little envelope, has the same fuzzy material on the inside, has a microfiber cloth, and uh, we, obviously Civivi and we are, are, you know, sister companies. We makes the more expensive knives, Civivi makes the more uh, affordable knives. Um, but I learned, or at least I'm, I'm fairly certain I have learned in talking with some people and doing some research, Sincut is the little brother to Civivi. So if you like Civivis, but they're a little too much or you don't want to spend that much on a knife, check out Sincut. Uh, they are um, very good quality. I mean, look at this. That opened vertically. Very good quality knives. Um, I think it's the same thing, guys. I think Sincut is a little brother to Civivi, which is a little brother to Wee Knives and they make excellent excellent quality stuff. These knives are gonna range, um, most of them, between 20 and $50 from what I can tell. You can get some of these for like low to mid 20s and then other ones will run you into the 40s and everywhere in between. But they're an excellent quality knife. They're definitely budget friendly. Um, you know the quality you're getting with Wee and Civivi. I feel this is kind of the same way. But with, with um, overseas made knives, uh, specifically Chinese made knives or products, I don't mind buying overseas, but I wanna get my value. And when I buy a Wii knife, I'm buying it because it's nice and I like it and I want that specific nice knife and I want the quality that comes with it, but I know I'm not getting a bang for my buck. So Vivi, you used to be getting a really good bang for your buck, but as they've gotten more popular, they're just pumping out tons and tons of knives. Some of them are super cool and speak to me. Other ones I'm kind of like, meh. But either way, the price has gone up on them because of the popularity. Sincut is much more affordable and much more like, yeah, I'll throw down $25 to try that knife. And it worked. Like I did that. I threw down, you know, 20, 30 bucks on this knife and I actually loved it and then realized, oh yeah, this is the new version of Civivi. Because Civivi has definitely jumped up in price. This one kind of swooped in and took its spot. And lo and behold, it is Civivi doing it. You know, this is their new brand and stuff. They can drop the price on it and still get that, that sweet deal of, um, you're not overpaying for the materials you're getting. Um, and so, yeah, if you haven't, check out Sincut. It's right there, S-E-N-C-U-T. Uh, really good, all over Amazon. You can find them, I'll link to a few below. But definitely look into them because if you like Civivi, uh, but you don't want to spend the money on them because you remember the good old days, you know, a year, two years, three years ago when you could get them and it felt like you were getting a bang for your buck and you've lost it. Hello, Sincut, because that is exactly what's happening here. So definitely check them out if you want to. And uh, I'm super stoked to find them and you will probably see more Sincuts in my carry. 
So thanks so much for watching and hanging out with me. I will be back with new material soon. Uh, you will see my EDC bag soon. That bag has changed up and I've carried the same bag for a while now. I've been rotating other bags in and out, but I've been carrying the same bag for a while and you guys will get an update on that. And I will never ask you to like or subscribe. You do you, but I would appreciate it if you did both. Definitely comment below. Let me know if you want to see the compact scale change. Uh, and let me know if you're excited for the EDC bag. And let me know what you've been carrying this past week. Thanks so much, guys and gals. I'll be back with a new video soon. And remember, EDC, EDC.